hello everyone today in this video i'm going to explain you how the charging port is working some technician some technicians do not know how the pins of the charging port are working so let's start but if it is the first time you see me just click on the subscribe button and then don't forget to like share and comment yeah so let's start as you see this charging port is having five pins okay one two three four and five yeah these are the pins of the charging port and every and each one is having its own law yeah its own function okay so let me show you here on this picture on this picture let me show you here yeah this is the subboard and they, it helps the phone to charge or to take the to PC and then to it helps the phone many things uh, and there are some things there are some capacitors some resistors and the, the mic and the, the LCD connector okay I think that everyone is seeing this picture so on this picture we have the charging port see here this is the charging port and then I told you that it have it has five pins let me tell you the function of each pin okay yeah. let me do like this number one number two number three number four and then number five number one is Fibas. Vibas. Yeah. The second is DM and the, the third is DP. Okay. The fourth is ID. And the, the last one is now uh, is GND. Okay. Yeah. So if your phone is if your phone is not charging, you have to check these pins, these pins, pin number one. Have to check these pins. this number one and uh, number five these are charging pins okay charging pins uh, so you have to connect the usb here and uh, take your multimeter put the probes probe number one and probe number two the multimeter is having two probes and they have to use them to check the it check if you are getting the voltage or no yeah so oh, another question if your phone is not detecting to the PC for example if you want to flash and the phone is not detecting you have to check these pins pin number one 
the pin number uh, sorry pin number two and the pin number three these are for detection pc detection they are carrying they're carrying uh, data yeah data minus and data positive okay if they are having problems the phone will never detect it to the pc yeah so to check if they are working you have to come here to put your multimeter on this pin one plug on this pin and the second to uh, one pin of here yes this is the connector and the, the connector is having the correspondence of one of these pins if you check with the multimeter you will find the correspondence of this pin and the another one for this pin if you miss the connection between here and here it means that your phone is not work your charging port is not working correctly uh, in that case you have to check you have to check again if these pins are well connected to the motherboard or it can happen that this charging port is damaged and then in that case you will never get the connection bet uh, between your USB and uh, this charging port okay yeah if you get you are getting 5 volt here uh, to check if the if this it is working if this this charging port is working correct you have to check the voltage that we are getting this is the vbus bus on the V bus you will get five volt and uh, this is the GND yes if you don't get any volts here you will check again the connection between this pin and the uh, this one yeah if these these pins are well connected to you it means that everything is good yeah so if you check this part and they find that is good you have to check again to check again the what the connection between this Sorry, the connection between this uh, connect with the, the motherboard, the main motherboard. Yeah, it may happen that the connection between the LCD connector and the display is missing. Sometimes, if the LCD if the LCD cable is not working correct, you will miss the voltage to the main motherboard. The main motherboard will never get the voltage. In that case, the, in that case, your phone will not charge or will not take you to the PC. You have to. This was the first part to check. The main part to be checked. That the second stage you will. Check the motherboard, the, the main motherboard, and they see if we are getting voltage there. If the voltage is getting there, it, will, it means that this subboard is okay, and then 
the LCD cable is okay the problem will still on the charging IC and the yeah okay it will still on the charging IC and the power IC so I will explain I will, I will explain you that in the second video that is coming soon this is was the first part and then the second part is coming okay thanks for watching I thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe like share and comment this video thank you very much may God bless you